Up for auction here is a, a really cool and really rare autographed Nirvana Rolling Stone magazine cover, as well as a backstage pass from the In Utero tour in 1993, and a proof of signature photograph of Dave Grawl signing the actual magazine cover that is framed. I got this framed magazine cover with backstage pass and photo of Dave Grohl signing the picture from the Hard Rock Cafe in Edmonton, Alberta in the summer of 2000 when the restaurant had closed. They had this picture hanging on the wall. It was bolted to the wall. And if you look at the back of the frame, you can actually s still see the bolting hardware that they used to secure it to the wall. When I got it, I never removed it from the picture frame. Uh, itself. Now what's really cool about this magazine is a few different things. This is the first Rolling Stone issue that featured Nirvana which says New Faces of Rock 1992. Um, there's a really interesting documentary on YouTube with the photographer talking about how Kurt Cobain was asked to show up for the photo shoot with minimal writing on his shirt. So naturally, he decided to write corporate magazine still suck, which you can see featured on the cover here, which is pretty funny. Now, what's neat about this particular autograph uh, copy is that um, there's a few things. So if you look at Kurt's signature, it's one of the rare instances where he spelled his name with a D. And a lot of times in the early days of Nirvana, if you look at the liner covers of Bleach, and I think on the back photograph of Nevermind, you can see that he spells his name K-U-R-D-T. Uh, and here, he signed it that way as well. He initially signed it with the silver marker, um, but was unhappy with the results, so went over it with the black marker, both of which you can see in the photograph below where Dave Grawl is signing. You can see the silver marker just above the black marker where he signed it. Chris Novoselic, uh, when he signed this picture, he actually drew hair on his head in the picture. And of course, Dave Grawl's signature, um, which is evident uh, below as well uh, with the photograph. The local crew backstage pass that's framed with it as well, that points to the Inutero tour. So this was around 1993 um, that this was, was autographed. And if you look at the picture below, you can see a few clues there. There's a Tim Horton's cup in the background, uh, which is predominantly famous in Canada uh, in the 90s, as well as today. And then on the opposite side of the frame, which I have never opened up, there is a label from Quebec, Canada, uh, where this was matted and framed. So I speculate that this might have been from a backstage concert in, in Montreal in uh, 1993 as part of the Union Terror Tour. Again, I received this uh, from the Hard Rock Cafe when it closed down, and I've been holding on to it ever since. And now is the time that I feel I'm ready to, to let it go. It is a one-of-a-kind piece. You don't see things like this come along often, so... Please bid, and um, if you have any questions, shoot me, shoot me a message.